Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to create Google Drive folders for new tasks in Asana projects. So imagine this, you have added a new task in Asana. So you have the name, the description, the assignee as well as the due date, a perfect Asana task. So to create a backup of the data, you want to create a folder for each task in Google Drive. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of the task from Asana, sort it out and manually create a folder in Google Drive. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new task is added in Asana, automatically create a folder in Google Drive. So in this video, we will be using Pebbly Connect to integrate Asana and Google Drive. The best part of using Pebbly Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. So let me just remove this and straight away take you to Asana. So basically this is my dashboard and this is the project that is called as programming errors. So the idea is that we are going to create a new task in this particular project. So the name of the project is uh, Selenium error. So we are going to add a new task. So the name of the task is uh, Selenium error. So let me just first add the assignee. Okay, so basically we will be adding the assignee, the due date as well as the description first and then we will be giving the task name. Okay, so the due date is on 29th. Okay, and we have uh, added the assignee as uh, arrow. So basically this person will be sorting out the issue and uh, the priority I'm keeping it as medium and the description is uh, the compiler in selenium has failed and the task name is selenium error okay so basically this is the title selenium error this is the assignee this is the due date this is the priority that is kept as medium and this is the description so basically we have uh, created a new task called as selenium error now the idea is that once a task is created in Asana, it will be reflected as a folder in Google Drive. So let me just take you to my Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive and I'm going to click on refresh. Okay, so the task related folder hasn't arrived yet. Give it some time, it will come. Okay, so as you can see, we have got the folder selenium error. So basically, this is the gist. Anytime a new task is created in Asana, it will be reflected as a folder in Google Drive. So to begin the actual integration process in the new tab, just type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Asana and Google Drive. So this is the website that is pabli.com. Here, just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, there is a button create workflow. Click this. Before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So let me just scroll down. And as you can see, we already have a workflow that has already in integrated Asana and Google Drive. So I'm just going to switch off this workflow because the reason I'm switching off this workflow is if I create a new workflow, this old workflow will be running in parallel to it and it will create a problem called as duplication of results. Basically, we will be getting two results for the same trigger. So to avoid that, we have switched off this workflow. It is actually none of your concern. I'm going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Click this. Okay, so we are going to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Asana to Google Drive. And let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So here in the choose app, how about we make it as Asana because we want to send the data from Asana. Asana it is. 
Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new task in project. New task in project is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new task is made in Asana, then what action should be taken in the system? Now basically we are going to create a new workflow. Now, if case, if you want to replicate or clone this workflow, the link of this workflow is available in the description box. So basically, at this point, we are just trying to integrate Asana to Public Connect. So let me just click on Connect with Asana. In the new credentials, let me just click on Connect with Asana. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So as you can see, by default, it is showing the project as IT request. And when we expand this, these are all the projects that is present in my dropdown. All the projects that is present here is just from here. So let me just take you to my Asana and show all the projects. So these are all the projects that is present in my Asana account. All the project that is present here is being simply reflected here. This is because Asana is integrated with Public Connect. Now, what I'm going to do here is for your consideration, I'm going to create a new project. So let me just click on a new project. Start from scratch, blank project it is. And the name of the project is um, new programming errors. Okay, so this is the name of the project that is new programming errors. And I'm keeping it as a board type. Or how about let's keep it as list only. And let me just click on next. Create a project. Okay, so we have created a new project. So in the usual cases, let me just take you to Public Connect and let me just refresh this. So when I click on refresh, I can expect to find this newly created project that is new programming project in the dropdown. New programming errors. That's the name of the project in the dropdown. So let's explore. Yes, we do have the name that is a new project that is new programming errors. So basically, this is because we have integrated Asana to Public Connect. Now, in usual cases, what we do here is uh, we basically copy this webhook URL and paste it into the triggering software. But here in Asana, all you have to do is uh, just select your project and just click on save and send test request. So when we click on save and send test request, it will connect with that particular project. So let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that we have successfully integrated with this particular project that is new programming errors. This is the project new programming errors. So this means that anytime a task is created in this particular project, Public Connect will capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me just go to Pab let me just go down below and let me just click on this button capture webhook response. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So I'm just going to create a new task. Actually, it is the first task. So the name of the task is I'm going to start from details. Okay, so your obvious question is why I'm starting from details. Now there is something you should know if you add a task first task name first and then the rest of the details, it will actually produce you two results. The first time it will show the result when the task is added. And again, it will show the result when the description or the assign is added. So basically, in an iteration, it is actually creating two results, one for addition of the task and then for the updation of updating of the task. So to avoid that, I'm going to first fill in the description. So the name of the description is um, for loop error in Python. So this is a small description. The priority I'm keeping it as medium and the due date as uh, 30th. Okay. The assignee I'm going to give it as Jane Austen and the name of the project, it, name of the task is Python error. Okay. So we have set up it. We have actually set up the task. Okay, Python error. So let's have a look since Public Connect is integrated with Asana, has it captured this data or not? Okay, so the data has been captured. So basically, we have got all the details. <laughs> Actually, we haven't got any detail. So this is because, let me just uh, show you. Uh, where are the details? That is assignee, the description. At least we should have the task name. Where is the task name? Nope, 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 nope. We don't have all those details. But instead, we have something, some addresses. So the idea is very simple. All the data of uh, the task, that is the task name, the assignee, the due date, the description, all that is present in this particular address. So basically, we have to extract all the data from this particular address. So to do that, let me just create one more window. So this window is called as the action window. So in the choose app, since we want to extract the data from Asana, so let's make it as Asana once again. 
Now in the action event, how about we just uh, scroll down and let me just click on get a task. Okay. So get a task is basically means that guest task details by task ID. We are going to mention a task ID and I have shown you the address that is basically your task ID. From that particular address, we are going to extract the details. So we have selected it and let me just click on connect with Asana. So we are just going to go to the recent setting. This is the one and let me just click on save. Okay, so as you can see, it is showing the field that is task ID. So first of all, I'm just going to click on this button and we are going to map from this accordion the task ID. So this is the task ID. Okay, so we have mapped it. Now this is the same thing that we have mentioned that I have mentioned earlier. This is basically the same address. I have mentioned it and let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing that uh, we have got all the details. For example, we have the assignee name that is Jane Austen. And uh, where are the rest of the details? So this is basically the project name that is new programming errors. We have got that. This is the title that is Python error. And this is the description for loop error in Python. So we have got all the details. Now using this particular detail, we are going to create a folder in Google Drive. So to do that, let me just scroll down and click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button in the choose app, we just type Google Drive. Google Drive it is. Now in the action event, how about we just click on create a file or a folder. Then click on connect with Google Drive. In the new credentials, click on connect with Google Drive. Okay, so as you can see, these are a series of uh, Gmail accounts I have. And this particular Google Drive is present in this account. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so it is asking me to confirm my choice. So before I click on allow, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So it is demanding the file name. So we have to mention a file name. So because when a file will be created, it will always have a unique name. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on this button and I'm going to go to the second accordion. And here I'm just going to enter the name of the title. So the name of the task title is Python error. So where is it? Okay, so where is it? Yeah, this one. Okay, and the file type, I'm keeping it as a drive folder. Okay, because basically we want to create a folder in drive. So the file type is drive folder. So all we have to do is just click on save and send test request to create a file folder. Basically means it create a drive folder. So let me do that. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing we have created a drive. So let me just uh, refresh this. Okay, actually we don't have to refresh it. Oh shit, we have refreshed it. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the folder that is Python error. Excellent. So the presence of this folder shows that we have successfully integrated Asana and Google Drive with help of Public Connect. So before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So first of all, I'm just going to minimize this action window. Okay, and I'm going to minimize this action window and I'm going to minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Asana to Public Connect and then you have used this action window to get a task details. After you have got the task detail, you have integrated Google Drive to Public Connect and then you have created a folder. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Asana and Google Drive. Excellent. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Public Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.